it's, it's easy to, to, to talk about. It's easy to sum it up when you just talk about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be a franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. Not a game. Not, a, not, not the game that I go out there and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that, man? We're talking about practice. I know I'm supposed to be there. I know I'm supposed to leave by example. I know that. And I'm not I'm not shoving it aside, you know, like it don't mean anything. I know it's important. I do. I honestly do. But we're talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> We talking about practice. We talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We talking about practice, man. When you come in the arena and you see me play, you see me play, don't you? You see me give everything I got, right? But we talking about practice right now. We talking about practice. Man, look, I hear you. I, it's funny to me too. There's definitely a decrease in defense. Well, I, I wasn't really raised into like the older heads generation of street ball, but my generation, everybody just wants to play flashy and nobody wants to get embarrassed on the defensive side. So they pretty much let the offensive opponent do whatever they want. Mm. So that's how it is. But my game, like I really like defense. Like my older brother taught me defense first. We both got really long arms. We get a lot of steals, a lot of rebounds. So I just really always love playing defense. And I try to play as much like clean defense as possible. That's the one thing about defense. If people play defense, they either don't play clean or don't play defense at all. I like, I can play defense when I have to. And I don't, I, I honestly, I slack on defense because I don't really see anybody being that great of an offensive threat to where I have to really clamp down and do anything. The monster blocks up yeah, in this yeah. game, you know. Um, I, I don't know if, if Antoine liked that, you know? Nah, man, I don't know if he liked it or not. What, what, ha what happened with that? All right, so pretty much Antoine had made a move, and he said something. I can't really remember what he said, but it kind of ticked me off. And I'm like, you can't really, it's like, if I want to play defense, you can't score against me. You only get in it because of these screens. And then I was like, all right, so I told the, his, the, his off, uh, player on the Antoine team, I told him, don't set any more screens. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just stay on, my, stay on right. Antoine, uh, that, that whole possession. Right. So he didn't set any screens. Antoine tried to shoot, and I would just swatted his shot. And then uh, the next possession, Antoine caught me with a step back and shot a three in my face. That was a good shot. And then I think I blocked him uh, the time after that. So I caught like two blocks, like within three or four possessions. But I was just trying to let Antoine know, like, I can play defense whenever I want. <laughs> I just really don't try to because my knees hurt. Right, 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 <laughs> but, right. Yeah. Any life lessons that you may take from basketball that you plan on applying in life outside of ball, or that you use already? Let me give up. Any lessons that you take from either that season or basketball in general that you apply to life outside of sports? Oh yeah, never give up. Never give up, definitely. That's the number one thing. So I stay on the block Pocket full of guap with a long thing cock Don't get pocked, fucked around and get shot Cause my...